Hi everyone. Uh, if you haven't been on my YouTube channel before, thank you very much for coming along. And uh, this is a place where you can learn all about different baby carriers or baby slings, whichever you want to call them. I'm Philippa, I'm a sling consultant and this is what I do. So um, if you want to find out more about me, I've done a blog post. If you pop over to the website, which is the carrying life dot co dot uk and it's on there um and there's also my facebook and obviously this youtube channel so i'm not gonna ramble on because i know that annoys people um i just want to talk today about half buckle carriers i think these are fantastic they are best of both worlds really um so <clears throat> a half buckle is um, a buckle waist strap um, and tie shoulder straps. So I've got this green uh, Lenny Lamb uh, hybrid. That's what it's called, a Lenny Lamb hybrid. And this carrier is what me and my daughter live in most of the time. It's very well used. Um, so this one's not actually out for rental, but I do have uh, a half buckle that is in the library, which is a Didymus Diddy Click. So uh, if you do want to borrow a half buckle, I do have one you can borrow. But for this demonstration purposes, I just want to, to show you how awesome half buckles are. So basically, it's, it's like a wrap, but you've already got the seat structured in. So um, if any of you watched my video on May ties, um, it's a similar sort of thing, only the waistband doesn't tie, it buckles. So if I put it on, and the way that you know how this one goes is there is actually a pocket just here, um, which has a magnetic fastening and it's for phones and keys and useful little bits. So if that's on the outside of the waistband, um, when the waistband's against your tummy and the adjustments to the sling are on the inside and then the actual sling is hanging down like an apron, then you've got it the right way round. Um, so on the inside, there are Velcro adjusters. So if when you get it, your baby is a teeny weeny newborn, you just undo the Velcro and slide the fabric of the sling along to another point of the velcro and then do the same on the other side there we go so if it's a teeny weeny newborn you've then made the seat a lot narrower which is good you know if you don't have a big baby so this um it goes from newborn up to toddler um I've currently got a one-year-old in it, but I put her in it at five months and she was a, a very dinky five-month-old. So it's it's done a lot, you know. So um, I'm going to make sure that this is the right way around and I'm going to take the waist strap behind me and clip it. There we go. So that it's in the right place and comfortable. I've obviously eaten too many donuts, put on a bit of weight since yesterday. There we go. Okay, so it's now around my waist with the sling hanging down and the shoulder straps dropping all over the floor, but I'll sort that out in a minute. So the other adjustment on this carrier is these elastic, um, well, they feel elastic -y, but actually they don't stretch. So they are, they're buttons. There's a button. Um, and then there's a, a pulley and if you've got a smaller baby you'd be pulling that so that more of it comes out so you've got quite a long tail just there past the, the button doing the button up um, and you want to get it the same both sides so I've got one two three um, holes and then it's in the fourth one so let me do that the other side and this makes it the right size for your baby and this is how it lasts so long because it's very adjustable. 
So let me take that out, pull this out a bit more, make sure I've got the same. One, two, three, yeah. And then we've seen the fourth hole. Here we go. So that is that adjusted. It's a much smaller panel now. Um, so I'm going to put it back so that it's hanging down. You've also got this hood that is poppered onto it and you've got places on the shoulder straps to clip the hood into. <clears throat> you can use that as neck support. <clears throat> so I'm just going to grab my little baby demo doll. Here we go. <laughs> right, now this sling, uh, inward facing um, on your tummy, so tummy to tummy, or hip or um, back, not outward facing. So let's check if I've done this correctly. No, nope, it's too short. This baby's a bit bigger than I thought. So I just brought the carrier up the baby's back. And while I've pretty much got it knee to knee, uh, I still need to do some adjustment on the panel at the back. So I'm just gonna undo those buttons again, but it's really quick and easy to do. And once you've done it once, it will be good for sort of like a few months until your baby puts on a bit of a growth spurt and you need to change it again, but that's okay. Very flexible. So, I'm just doing the second side now. Um, there we go. Obviously, haven't had it in that position for a while because it's very, very stiff. There we go. So now, if I put my baby's hands in front so that baby can chew them. So now I've got the sling up the baby's back and the hood's hanging down and I've still not got the shoulder straps on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my right shoulder strap and I'm going to take it over my right shoulder. There we go. Nice and spread out just there. Okay. Right. I'm actually going to sort of um, wrinkle the fabric up a bit so that it stays on my shoulder for now. Uh, and then I'm going to swap arms because I had my arm around my baby so she didn't fall and do the same with the other strap, bringing it um, up over my shoulder. And you can either bring it so that the sling is over the baby's arms or under the baby's arms, depending on how old your baby is and what their preference is. Kind of six months-ish, they want their arms out, really, um, most of the time. But sort of little babies, they like their hands in so they can chew them. So I've now got both straps over my shoulder and here's where I need to make the cross um, to stabilise the weight of the baby. So I've now got both my straps over my shoulder and my left hand is holding both the straps um, because I need to keep hold of my baby. So I can do this one of two ways. I can keep the tension on the straps with my left hand and let go of the baby keeping the tension then take my right hand back behind me so if i turn around i've now got both straps in you know one in each hand then i can cross them over behind my back and bring them forwards round to the baby's knees and then cross them so over one knee and under the other with each side so that makes the cross for baby to sit in um and then i'm going to do my normal bog standard double knot at the back nothing fancy there we go and now baby's in um the fabric is going knee to knee and then what you can do is you can bring the edges of the shoulder straps up so that you can create that real wrap sensation of um, of having a wrap. So there we go. I've brought the all the bunched up material. I've now brought up so that it's uh, covering the baby's back um, and going knee to knee, just as if it was a an actual wrap. Um, and that means that the 
cross is nice and flat on my back. I'll turn around and show you guys in a minute. I'm just fiddling around with the with the uh, straps to get them comfy. That's nice and comfy. My baby's not going to go anywhere. Um, and if anything, she's a little bit high because she's right in my face. But if I wanted to adjust that, I'd just loosen the waist strap um, and untie my double knot, bring her down a bit. Um, I wouldn't even untie it actually. I'd just loosen my double knot for a minute and then bring some slack into these straps and then I would push the waistband down and gently push baby, bring baby down. There we go. So now she's much better height. Yeah. And um, just a second, she's got the hood tucked. That can't be very comfortable. Sorry, baby. And now I'm going to take back the slack that I have just made by pulling on each side of the strap and I'm going to re-tighten my double knot like that so that baby is nice and secure. Uh, okay, here we go. And then I'm gonna redo the spreading of the fabric over baby's bum, up baby's back. And then, there we go do that again so you don't have to do that but if you do do that it's fine you know that gives you the sort of wrap experience baby's baby's fine she is um her airways are clear uh she has her hands up by her face which helps to keep the airways clear i can get two fingers under her chin uh she's definitely definitely secure um so i can do a little dance I can be hands free. It's comfortable for me and it looks as if it's comfortable for her. Um, so that is that. That is one way of doing the shoulder straps. If you don't feel comfortable with letting go of baby and keeping the tension, um, then the other thing to do, and I'm just undoing what I've done, just uh, unraveling. And I'm going to go back to when I had my right strap over my right shoulder and my left strap over my left shoulder so baby is facing me and on my chest and i am going to keep hold of baby with my right hand i'm going to take my left hand behind me and i'm going to pull some tension into this strap i'm going to take the right hand so i'm going behind my back with my left hand taking the right hand strap that goes over my right shoulder, getting some nice tension in there. Um, and then I'm going to bring that strap un over one knee of the baby. So the strap is coming round from my right to my left um, under one knee of the baby. Um, and now I need to swap hands because now I need to pass the strap to my right hand. Um, but you need to be able to keep the tension and doing it this way the easiest way is um, to put it over the baby's knee, not bring it under the bottom yet, but pin the strap between your knees so that you've got that tension kept. And then you want to take your right hand, keep your left arm around your baby, take your right hand behind you, grab the left strap, make sure that you've got some nice tension in it, and then take it over the knee of the baby. So it's going over the knee that's closest to the right hand side. So it would be the baby's left knee because she's facing me. But um, so now I've got I've got two straps in front of me. I've got one pinned between my legs and one in my hand. So I'm going to take the one that's pinned between my legs. And I'm going to take that in my left hand because it's coming from the left, having crossed behind my back. I'm then going to cross the straps over again. Um, and under baby's bum and then I'm going to take them underneath baby's knees and I'm going to go round the back and tie them in a double knot and then I can sort out all my fabric um, that I want over baby's back so put 
pulling the fabric up over baby's bottom and then doing the same with the other side. You always want to pull your inside layer first and then let's do safety checks again. Baby um, has clear airways, two fingers under her chin, hands up, um, safe, slings up to the, the nape of her neck and I can be hands free and let go. Woohoo! So, you know, that is the other way to do it. So this, this carrier is really versatile. As I said, you can do hip carries as well. So I'm just going to untangle. I'm going to untangle me and baby. And okay, so now I'm back to baby being on my front with the waist strap done up. And I've now got the straps back on the shoulders. Um, so right strap on right shoulder and left strap on left shoulder. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to spin my baby to my hip while I've got the straps in place. So now my baby's on my hip, which is basically just a front carry gone to the side. Now you might want to tuck the sling under baby's arms because if they're hip stage, they'll be supporting their head quite well. So you might want to tuck um, the sling under baby's arms just to give them a bit more stability. So I'll just tuck in my sling now. And then I'm going to keep my left arm around the baby um, while I take the left hand strap with my right hand. I'm going to bring that uh, over the baby's knee um, that's towards my back and trying to keep the tension all the time and under the other knee. Um, and then I am going to pin it as I did before. So I need to keep the tension. Then I'm going to take my left hand and grab my right strap. And I'm going to bring it round. Um, and again, take it over baby's knee. And now I can pick up the strap that I've got pinned between my knees and make sure I've got a nice lot of tension. And then um, as I bring them back round to my back, I'm going underneath baby's knees. And I'm going to now tie it instead of behind my back, it's probably going to tie round um, at my hip, the other side. So it's easy to get to if I find that there's a little bit of slack and I need to sort it out. Um, and if you do want to sort out the slack before you tie the second bit of the knot that's absolutely fine um, and then you can either leave the um, the fabric scrunched up like I've got it now or you can bring it um, over baby's bottom obviously you want to do your inside layer first which is my the one at the back bring it over baby's bottom and then doing the same on the other side so so now baby is secure she is on my hip she could if she was real she could turn her head and see all kinds of things from the vantage point of my my hip um and obviously as they get older it's more actually on your hips than it is up as high as she is so um that is another way of using this carrier and the last way is a back carry. So I'm just unwinding my um, my straps. I feel a bit like a maypole dancer with the ribbons. There we go. All unwound. And now she's still on my hip, which is fine because she's halfway to my back. Um, I'm bringing the straps in front of her face. I'm just going to, because it's going to be in the wrong place, I'm going to bring my right strap back over so that it's actually not on my shoulder at all. Um, and I'm going to do the same with my left strap. I'm going to take them off my shoulders because actually in a minute they're going to get in the way. So this is the sometimes the tricky bit because you've got loads of tails, but you have got a seat. So in a normal wrap, like just a long piece of fabric, you need to create that seat and sometimes with a wriggly baby demo dolls are perfect they just stay still but 
wriggly babies you find that actually they wriggle out of the seat before you can even um, switch them around to your back so the good part about this carrier is there is already a very nice firm secure seat the baby can't wriggle out of so I've got the straps held in my left hand in front of the baby so that the sling is going under her armpits and it's going um, in front of her so she's nice and secure I can just keep hold of the straps and she's not going to fall out of the sling so now I'm going to do a hip scoot and I'm going to glide her around my back arm over her head I've pushed her around with my right arm because as I said the straps are in were in my left hand now I'm just holding them in my right hand because I want to get her at the center of my back and I'm going to wriggle her up a bit higher uh, because she might want to see over my shoulders um, and I've actually got her in my I've got the straps in my right hand still I'm just gonna bounce her up a bit higher just so that she's able to see so now I want to make sure I'm getting the right strap and then yeah I'm getting them both straps I'm going to hold on tight to the right hand side strap I'm then going to take my left strap and put it over um, my shoulder but to do that I've got to swap hands past my right arm underneath so now both straps are on my right shoulder and that's better because I can get her a bit more leverage there. Then I'm going to take my left strap over my head. Like that. And my right strap is on my right shoulder and my baby is on my back. So now you can either do rucksack style. So take both straps behind you. And then um, without crossing them. And then cross them at the back underneath baby and bring them round the front to tie at the front um so i can do that and that's okay that feels quite secure that's nice uh, it is nice with a baby that doesn't do what my daughter does and go from side to side side to side and bounce up and down and sometimes i feel that the rucksack um strap isn't as um, it doesn't feel as secure sometimes. It doesn't spread the weight as evenly for me. That's just me personally. So I'm actually going to undo this. Keeping the tension, of course, because you don't want the baby to fall out. That would not be a nice thing to do. So I've got, actually got my hand up under her bum. And I've got the strap in each hand. And so rather than taking them straight behind me, I'm actually going to cross them in front of me a bit like we did earlier um, when the baby was on our front so I'm going to cross them in front of me and I'm going to then take them back behind me and I'm going to put the strap uh, so as they come round the right straps over the baby's knee uh, closest to my right hand and vice versa and then I've got a cross uh, under the bum, bringing the two tails underneath baby's legs round in front of me and tie them securely in a knot. So the knot is in front and the baby is behind. And then of course you can sort of spread out your, your fabric so that you've got more security if there's any tension or any slack, you can follow that back to its source and sort it out. And then that is my baby on my back. Okay, so, and it's nice and secure. Uh, I can get my fingers um, under her chin. I can tell she's got nice airways. If she was a real baby, she'd probably have her hands up um so that is the lenny lamb hybrid and i really love it as i said because the seat is already made 
and it's very quick you just do up the buckle and then you put the baby in so there's sort of no having to um put the baby through the straps like you might have to on a buckle carrier um or trying to get your shape like you have to do with your stretches um before you put the baby in so i hope that's been helpful i'm sorry it's gone on quite a long time probably should have done only three videos but uh i'm taking time while joy is asleep i do want to get a video with her because actually one of the easiest things about this is that now joy is bigger i can sit down either on the sofa or on the floor and she will climb on my back and then i can bring the carrier up her back the straps over my shoulders cross them um and then tie them up because she's that much bigger um and they do learn they learn to hop onto your back so i hope that's been a helpful video uh in some description <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching uh and i will see you again soon